romance bookstore. You guys only focus on romance, right? Mm -hmm. And then it's run by you and your sister. Yes. So, like, how did the whole process of like building this bookstore come about? Well, we really love romance and wanted to. See, we thought there would be another romance-only bookstore in the United States, and it turned out there wasn't. So we decided that we were the right people to open one, um, and we decided we were going to use Kickstarter to raise our money. And so we really engaged the romance community early and reached out to them and they were really supportive in helping us make this happen. Mm -hmm. um, so once we had our funding in place, uh, it was a matter of finding our space and choosing our books and decorating and that was the really fun part. Yeah, that seems fun. Um, <laughs> and since then, uh, we've been open for six weeks now. Wow, that's so amazing. I'm like really happy for you guys. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So what is the first novel that you remember reading that kind of got you into the genre of romance? Well, it wasn't a romance, a traditional romance novel. It was probably one of the very first considered right. romance novels, Pride and Prejudice by mm -hmm. Jane Austen. Um, a lot of romance has kind of come from the Regency period. So that's what I ended up with. In the middle, I had a stop off for Austen continuations, Trouble with Mr. Darcy, anything kind of having to do with Austen. Mm -hmm. And then I found Regency romance, right. which is playing on the world that Austen created, but with new characters and scenarios. So this one is about a ne'er-do-well heir who ends up in Egypt and has to be rescued by the heroine. It okay. is fabulous. That sounds amazing. <laughs> it is. Yeah. So most bookstores, they organize by the author's last name, and I was kind of wondering if you ever considered organizing by the erotic contents. We didn't. Um, we thought that not even a little bit. Not even like, a little bit. Let's let's organize it by the amount of sex. I think it would just, just be too hard. It would be really really hard. You'd have to have like a whole reading system. You would, and I think there would be some cross. Some things wouldn't really fit into a box. So That's true. What we decided to do is focus on the subgenres of romance okay. and really play with that. And having a specialty bookstore allows us to do that. So um, the paranormal shelving section is surrounded by our so-called paranormal forest. Our erotica shelves have black lace. Our historical shelves are white and gold. And oh, they kind so of cool. match the, the um, genre that they're representing. That is awesome. I absolutely love that. And it's so yeah. creative. This whole store is just so creative. I love Thank it. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. So being an all-romance bookstore, how, uh, like, how much of your clientele is men, would you say? The... RWA, Romance Writers of America, statistics are that the readership is 15% male. Okay. I would guess that, I would say it's we're pretty close to that. Okay. Um, and, you know, it's hard for us to know. Um, we get lots of wonderful gay guys in here. We have a big LGBTQ yeah. section. Um, so it, it's definitely a small percentage. But I will say that I think that men, straight men who read romance are geniuses because they're seeing something that their partner is interested in and frequently right. aroused by and trying to learn from that. And yeah, I think that's a really interesting insight. Yes, yeah, if, I I, if, if there was a woman next to me who was reading a romance novel and was into it, I'd be like, give that to me and let me see. Let me see. figure out what's going on here. Yes, let's, let me uh, see yeah. what you think yeah. is yeah, romantic great. or arousing or interesting. So we're always trying to encourage men to read romance. Okay, great. Thank you. Thanks so much for joining us, you guys. Yeah, we are here in the Ripped Bodice in LA. So it is the only romance bookstore in the country. And you guys can find out more information about it by going to theriftbodicela.com. Or come down to LA and check it out for yourself. So thank you so much for joining us, you guys, and stick around for another video next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>